So I am sorry, my dear suffering souls, that you are still suffering. Hmm? How do you have worked hard to find some peace, some satisfaction, and get rid of the problems, worries, or disease, but not sufficiently, something might have been achieved. But you cannot say, that now I am satisfied. This word satisfaction is not there as yet. And that we have to live a life. What kind of life? That for example, it's not really competent example, but it can give some kind of idea that some kind of life which we need is there. Let it be in the body of the mother. The child is there. That the child is enjoying some kind of satisfactory life. There's no need of any food, no need of any water. There's no heat, no cold. Any season may be there. It may be day, it may be night. There is no job, no need of anybody, no relative, no friends are needed. There is no sympathizer needed. There is no enemy also. Nothing to go, nothing to come. Everything is stable over there. There is no disease. There is no anybody who is to harm you. Or do you have to be careful, or you have to be careful for somebody. That's a life. Going on, going on, going on. Now we cannot imagine, because we were in that life some time back. When we came out of the body of our mother, after that also we could not remember our old, uh, our child age, maybe up to age of five or six years, we were still innocent. And things were still going on in some nice way. Because element of God is there. That when we are not in such a condition that we are dependent, then He is our response, responsible. We are to depend upon Him. He knows that only He can be our Savior, Protector and Supplier, and He comes. So in the womb of the Mother, everything was established by Him. And after, up to the age of four or five, six, more or less He was there. After that, when it began to work with our senses, with our mind, with our intellect, then he was later pushed back. And some of our relatives and friends, family members came forward. We also brought our mind and intellect brought forward and then he was pushed back slowly and slowly. The things of this world went on increasing in our heart, in our mind, in our intellect, and God was getting away and away and away and away and away. And the now condition is there that God is totally not in any way, and that we are 100% in our this worldly system. But still God has not forgotten us. He has not discarded us. We have forgotten Him. We have discarded Him. But He is still there. And He has love for us because His love is unconditional. That if we love Him, then only love, He will love us. That is not the case as is the condition of this world. If you love your brother, then only he will love you. If you discard or don't own him, 
your brother, next time he will not come to you, he will be angry, he will not be relating to you. This is the condition of this world. But God the love and is all devotion to us is unconditional. There was a master who was traveling with his disciple. It was a story as I had read about Guru Nanak that at some place uh, the mind and intellect of his disciple became very much strong and he was not feeling like believing his master. And then he asked the master, please stop little. Okay, my dear, what is the difficulty, what is the problem? My master, I had been in delusion after today. Now you have come to my senses. Yes, what do you want? What do you want, want to say to me? I will not be with you now. With you, I have only suffered, traveling and traveling day and night, no rest anywhere, and through the wilderness, sometimes we had to have no, not even water for days and days, and not to talk of having a food, and through deserts, and through so many hard situations that we had been going through, and further also you are going on through. And why I am to suffer? You may suffer or may not suffer, that is not my concern. But I am at least concerned to me. I am not to suffer with you, and with you I will only suffer. Then the master just understood the condition of his heart, and then little consoled him, persuaded him, my dear, in this world we have come to comfort others. And when we are to comfort others, we will have to struggle for others. Something of their struggles or discomforts, we will have to take on ourselves and only then we can arrange some comforts for the others. And that you have committed. When we started our journey, you had committed yourself that I will now devote my life to you and the rest of life I will go on serving you wherever you go, maybe in good condition or maybe in suffering condition, maybe hard conditions. Where you will be, in what condition you will be, I will also be able to endure. But my dear, once committed, you have to keep your words. And that if we are committed to somebody, we are not to leave that person half the way. It is not humanly. And that you are not expected to do something which you had committed to me in the beginning, to the start, from your heart. And that the disciple was explaining, my dear Master, this is my weakness which I had gone through, that I had committed to you. But now I have known that I had wrong, done wrong something in this commitment, and I want to correct it now. And when Master felt like that, he really now very hard some heart attack of the mental powers, then he go, okay, my dear, if you want to enjoy without me, okay, you can enjoy. And now he was back. When we were coming back, some arrangement was there that there was a carnival in the way. <coughs> And he saw that a human being is coming, and he found it a nice prey, wonderful one. And then he saw that he is a saintly person, and he had a trick. Oh, my dear, he just lay on the ground in uh, respect. Oh, dear God, 
I had been struggling for some century person since start of my life. And this is just the today is the best day that I could fulfill my ambition that a saintly person I could find. And that disciple of the Master was very happy. Okay, now this nice disciple is there. What I was disciple, now I have disciple. <laughs> But I was suffering as a disciple, now, now I will enjoy as his master and he will be my disciple to serve me. And that, okay, he was following. He was given seat somewhere nicely and that carnival I went into the kitchen and started with his job. And when everything was ready over there, then he came back that my dear master now come to the dining hall, kitchen, and we may be able to serve you something. And then that disciple was thinking that in very short time he had prepared so many things. <laughs> Everything is ready. He's a very good disciple. <laughs> and he was with big expectations. There may be some pancake, there may be some <laughs> chocolates, <laughs> some maybe ice cream, already already in the fridge. <laughs> A dining table full of all these things. And when he went over there, there was nothing. And he was looking around. He was I mean, looking around. He was being thrown into a boiling oil pot under which the fire was still burning and the oil was boiling. And when he saw this, that what is to happen to me, then it was a great shock to him. And at that time, suddenly some impressions come up, which are there in our heart. And sometimes you find that when a child is having some difficulty or problem, at once she cries out, Mother, Mama. Because child is having all his lifetime up to the age of five or six years connected with ma, Mama, with the mother. All the impressions had gone into his heart, mostly of his mother. So, was just innocently, without any thought or any intellect working when he is asking for help, he will at once call that impression which is prominent in his heart, that is Mama. And after some time, the which other thoughts are there, that we begin to work. Now because this man had been with the Master long time, and therefore the thoughts of the Master were the most important, really dominating in his heart. At once he was uh, calling his Master, Master. Just innocently, not by thought that uh, who is he and he, if he can help me, if he is there with me or not, uh, and that I had discarded him and he is not now with me, sometimes back he was with me. Now I cannot call him. Because intellect, when it begins to work, then it begins to, to delude us, to cheat us, deceive us in some kind of his own tactics. When the heart is working independent of the intellect and mind, then it works really in its own originality. And now that impression at once sprang a master. And he was standing in the um, uh, oil, uh, in the pot of oil. The oil was totally cool. And that carnival was little astonished. What has happened? This oil was boiling. And now this man is just taking bath in the oil. <laughs> Nothing has happened to him. And fire is still burning. And then... He was looking around this way 
and he found also the master was there. Now his inner fire was also cooled down. All his heart which was burning with those impressions which were from negative power to kill and to devour, to eat, to kill. This was his only lifestyle. And this was going on normal. Because when we are filled with some kind of impressions in our heart, it may be most sinner, most sinner, most sinner. But when there is no other impression in our heart, then it is never to be checked up that this is a comparison of a good one or sinner one. And then it takes its full control and that becomes normal lifestyle. This is the way of working of uh, the people. As in you also, uh, the uh, life which you are going along, you feel it is a normal life. Because uh, there is no impression of God, or kingdom of God, or soul, or that peace, or that sweetness, that love, that glory, that beauty, which is there. And that you are only having... Uh, a limitation in some kind of a little small eh, hamlet we call or small hut that it is closed from all around and you are not see around and you are limited to that. I think you would have also read a poem which was there. Eh, I have read in my childhood a lady of Charlotte. Lady of Shallot, you would have read, read, it was written by uh, poet, some mystic poet, Wordsworth or Keats, something like that. And that, he is describing that there was a small house in the river, all around there was water, nobody could come in, nobody was to go out of it, and all the doors were closed, windows were also were closed. <coughs> And that she was engaged in some kind of imaginary or something like that magic web. And she was very much busy in that and very much proud of it. That is very nice, wonderful job she is doing going along. And that she was not allowed to look outside through the window, but she was only to look through the mirror what is outside. And that mirror had its own reflection that there were loins, there were wolves, there were fightings, there were wars, there were havocs outside. And that, that impression was going to her heart and she was returning back and again sitting on the magic web and working upon it and enjoying it. And she was feeling this is and all and be all. This is my life. Here I am safe. Here I am to go along. There's nothing else for me. However, one day there was a prince who was also strolling on the bank of the river on the horseback and some voice of tingling of the bells which were there in the neck of the horse we are going on giving very musical sound. And when she heard those tinglings of the bells, it did go into its, her heart and it changed everything of her heart. And she lost the idea that she is not allowed to look directly outside through the window and she is only to look through the mirror and that outside there is only horror and horror and horror. Only everything good is there in the uh, this small place. She ran in to the window and saw that there is a prince. All everything is wonderful, and that he's on the horseback, and that everything is so wonderful, so nice. Fruit are there, flowers are there, and nice wind is there. Everything is nice looking, and then she was. Wondering what it is, 
We are parameters. Suddenly, no, it should have been since long time. I could not see because I was not allowed. I did not dare to do it, to see it. When she looked back, oh, that mirror through which he had been looking out, that was broken into separators that had fallen down. And when she looked at her magic web, it was all vanished. And when she looked around, the door was also open. And she looked at a boat with a boatman waiting for her. That and she, he was calling that let us go out, let us enjoy. That prince has come to you and is waiting for you that you may be queen and he is the king and that this is the offer from him and that I have to convey to you and I have come to take you out. Let us go. He is waiting outside. Then she was little hearing all this. Thing. Everything unexpected. Everything so wonderful, so nice that you could not imagine that can it be possible? Can it be possible? Should I believe it? Should I believe it? What is happening? Is it, is it real? Is it a dream? Or it is some kind of uh, my craziness? Or it is really something that I should have it? Okay, let her try. But, but that impression was so strong that she could not feel that it is something unreal. She should not believe it. There was something which was also saying, no, it is not believable, believable. it is not dependable. But there was some most powerful thought which was coming from that, that it is there. Haven't you seen with your eyes? Haven't you felt that? It is real. And she came out and was accepted by the, the prince and was to enjoy the life. This in some way illustrates uh, the position of uh, life of the man. That life has been confined into some very limited conditions of this small world in which uh, we are engaged in some kind of magic web that uh, uh, when we start our life, we start hard working, 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 working day and night, day and night. At the end of life, when we find what we have worked, it's all gone. Nothing is there. Because everything is passing phase. Day comes and it goes away. Night comes, it goes away. Your friend comes and goes away. Your relative comes and goes away. Money comes and goes away. Gold comes and goes away. Everything which is coming, coming and going, going and coming, nothing is stable. And some things will come and go and never forever go, never to come back. And when we are crying and we are lamenting and we are really missing and we are really in trouble. And that we are expecting something, but we are not finding the expectation is something we find opposite to it. And that we are feeling that this world is real in which we are going on this and all and beyond there, nothing beyond that. Because we are only allowed to see through these uh, eyes which are controlled by negative power and only can see what it wants to make us see. We directly we cannot see. Soul has got its own seeing faculty. And when we look with the soul, then we find the reality. And that we are not allowed. That window has been closed for us. And that we are only to see all this, what is in the world, and believe it, and to accept it. That there is no other alternative to it. But when Master comes, then he gives us the sound current. And when this sound current is available, then all this misunderstanding of the impressions of the negativity which have been possessing us all vanish away. And then 
all that controls of the negative power are thus vanished, and we rush directly towards that source of the uh, sound where from it is coming. And when she directly went to the window, she directly could see the prince, and that you could hear the sound where from it is coming. What is the source where from it is coming? Because the sound had its own power to eliminate all other previous impressions and to fill the reality, because reality has its great power to impress your mind. All your imagination, imagination, go on, go on, go on, go on. But when you open the eyes, you see something, all those imaginations are gone, vanished. You will believe that reality. In the whole night, you are dreaming to be a king, to be emperor, to be wonderful, wonderful, great, great, great one. But when you open the eyes, you find yourself in the wilderness on some stones. That reality will at once say you, this reality, my dear, all that was nothing. Because those impressions which are of the imaginations, they have down not power. This word which is of imagination, imagination or dream of the mind, that is only going on having its impression and feeling its reality, tell us that uh, reality is not opened to us. And when that reality opens to us, it is available, at once all these impressions will lose their impact. And we will be able to accept that reality and will begin to enjoy that life. And that woman, when she saw that um, prince and also could uh, find contact with the sound, then this sound, this is expressive not from the tingling of the bells which were there in the horse's neck, it is the senior sound. And that had worked, and then she could see where from God this uh, sound current was coming, and this sound current did take away all this magic web, all the, uh, the illusions and delusions from the mind, and the door which was closed, the third eye, the door which leading to the kingdom of God, and taking you away from the kingdom of the evil, that was also opened by the soul. And then this was also a message that Master came, and Master is taken with the boat, with his own carrier, and taken to the God that I have come to take you to the source where you belong to. And you will be queen, and you will be uh, accepted by the king. He will arrange everything. He will do everything. You have to only to enjoy your kingdom. That kingdom which is that prince has got, he will be the king of that kingdom. You can also say it's my kingdom. Although he has got, you have not got, but you can find it. He will be pleased to give it to you also that you may share all blessings of the kingdom. Otherwise you are not to be worried about the arrangements or the controls or anything which is needed attention for management or arrangements. He will do, but you are not to do. You are only to enjoy. In this way, it is some kind of a little similar example that how uh, the arrangement is there that we come out of this with some kind of magical uh, and uh, illusionary, delusionary process and that we are really, really very horribly caught up in it. And we don't feel that there's even 0.1% delusion in it, which say it is real, it is real, it is real. But till that real reality is not opening up in our hearts, we will go on with this. So this carnival was now really in trouble. And when he saw, then his uh, curtain of darkness was also away. And he could see and feel, I am a sinner. Today, this was the first time in his life that 
he could feel that I am a sinner. What I have been doing, it was a great sin. Otherwise, you are proud of it. When I was fighting more men or human beings to eat, he was really happy. As you find, when there is some hunter, he doesn't find any prey. He is very much disappointed. But he finds one or two or three or five or ten, very happy, more the happier, more the lucky ones. But he doesn't know that he had become much more unlucky and he will suffer and suffer. In all scriptures it has been ordered. No, you are not to kill. You are not to kill. And that why we are killing because our impressions of the heart are not of that side that the killing is a sin. We take it as a hobby and we are happy when we are successful, successful in it and feel like it is a blessing to me that I could find such like a sense to do. We do not call it sin but some kind of action to do. And this was the first time that those impressions which were already existing of the negative power in the heart, those were washed away by the look of the master. And his, his soul was awakened. And soul is not affected by any impression other than God's impression because it is belonged to unchangeable permanence of God. God is unchangeable permanence. And our soul is also of the same essence as that of its source, God. It is also unchangeable permanence. It may be under the impressions of mind and intellect and all this world for billions of years, but it will not change. It will keep its own stability, own originality, which is godly. It is only our mind and intellect that Wherever we go, there we are. There we belong to. We forget everything of the past. What was there yesterday? What was there before, day before yesterday? We only see uh, what is there now. As you see with the, uh, uh, the car, if you take, uh, take a car anywhere, it will feel like over there, okay, wherever it is. It may be working, it may not be working, it is there somewhere. Because it has got no impression. Where it, it is, there it will be fitted. And that uh, our condition is uh, like that, that we have got impressions. And we are changing everywhere, everywhere. And that we find that we had with some very nice friend sometimes back, and we miss that friend and we come into new situation, situation, those impressions will go down gradually. You will begin to forget, forget all your lovely ones, all your very much dear ones and near ones. And new ones will go on getting more and more in your heart. And after a month or a year, you totally forget all those people you, which you are taking as your lifestyle, that this is the must be in my life, I can live without that. It is a, my real life. And at that time you were feeling like, like dying or killing yourself, committing suicide yourself, if that is lost. But when those impressions which were working so hard, so strong on your heart are not now there, other impressions are there then you are changed. So this change goes on, goes on in our hearts and nobody is there who is stable on who can say that this person who has committed to me, has said to me, relates to me, tomorrow will also be the same. He will remain the same tomorrow also. I can believe some person. As per structure you have to say, it cannot be believed. It is not believable. A bird which is coming to you daily may come today also, may come tomorrow also, but may not come even. 
इट मे फाइंड सम अदर फ्रेंड अदर पर्सन हू गिव सम बेटर फूड यू वुड हैव फाउंड समटाइम्स दैट लेट इट बी यू आर कीपिंग ए डॉग एट इज यूर डॉग इट लव यू वेरी मच बट यू आर फीडिंग द डॉग ऑन वेजिटेरियन फूड यू आर फीडिंग डॉग ऑन वेजिटेरियन फूड ही वेल कीप विद यू बट समाइम्स सम पर्सन कम्स एंड गिव द नॉन वेजिटेरियन फूड You will follow him. <laughs> you will not remain your dog <laughs> because the dog is not your dog. It is of that one who is non-vegetarian, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> he is not your friend. His friend is of his own anxieties, own feelings, own impressions which are there in his heart. That I am to enjoy this. I am not to enjoy my friend. I am to enjoy this thing. So uh, the mind and intellect, everybody is there to have their own kind of necessities or feelings that I am to satisfy my feelings. Nobody is a friend of anybody. Every body is born with one's own desires. Wherever you are there. is fulfilled there you will go you are not friendly to anybody you are not to be connected to anybody we are only connected to our desires this is the way of working of the whole of the people of this world and everything all the animals all the birds who are having this such kind of body mind and intellect all are working in the same way so how we can feel like depending upon anybody on this world we can depend upon our own self and our own self is dependable here in our situation we cannot depend on our own self even because sometimes we kill ourselves we commit suicide ourselves why we commit suicide why we kill ourselves because we love this our self which we are calling ourselves less than our desire when that desire is not fulfilled then we feel like killing this body also which we feel this is our life this we this um, ourselves why it like that because we are not friendly to this body also we are more friendly to our desire mind is like that so we cannot say that any body is friendly or Uh, having some uh, goodness to even on their own self not to talk of to anybody else then how we are to live these facts of the life which i am given to you these are there it is not something that i am creating a new phenomena they are already existing since the world began because this is the way of working sun is going on moon is going on stars are going on but you have to know what is the function of we are working of the stars what is function and we are working of the moon what is function and we are working of the sun you cannot change it but you have to know it and then adjust yourself that you are best benefited out of those and you are not slave to those you are not to depend upon those but you are to avail their services because they will go on your with your services what they have got normally and they are so not slave to you if you wish like something that they would do like that they will not do anything they have their own attitude in same way we have to see what is the attitude of this world of the worldly minds of the worldly intellects or worldly bodies and what is the basic basic way of working and how can i adjust with them that what i am as so if is also there what is its qualification what is its behavior and what is relation to me and what it will do to me how it i can it can use for to me all these things are to be diagnosed and after having diagnosed everything of your connections situations only then you will be able to adjust yourself and when you have adjusted accordingly 
then only you will be to live peacefully. As I have given you the example, that in the body of the mother, the child is totally cared for. That is the situation that there is only one. Even they are not mother, they are. Even if not their father, there is only one God. There is only sound current with which the child is connected to and everything is going on wonderfully. But when the child comes out of the body of the mother, then the, the sound current is disconnected and we, we, we begin to depend on all around what is there. One is lost and hundred thousands are found. Or maybe at least thousands are found. But all thousands are totally useless. They are not to help you. They are not to bless you. And even if you find whole of the world, everything of the world, you will not find the same blessing or the same uh, wonderful lifestyle what you would have found when you were with uh, 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 the sound current inside, wherever it is. Wherever it you are, when you are with the sound current, with the word of God, that is your best kind of life, highest kind of life, life of perfection, which cannot be weird, even if you find whole of the creation, let it be of God, it will not serve the purpose. Because still that uh, 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 agency which is uh, uh, needed for you that is not there you need God you cannot be satisfied with anything less than God because you are belonging to God I am the vine the master says as God in him I am the vine and you are my branches as long as you are embedded in me embedded in me he says, you will bring forth, uh, bring forth ample food, you will live. But when you are detached from me, all the world is there, everything is there. But nothing will be there to help you, nothing is there for you, and you will begin to die. With me, you will go on getting bigger and bigger, bigger and bigger, more and more, more and more glorious, more and more wonderful. But when you are detached from me, and anywhere you are, you will go on down and down and will be nullified. You will be no more. Only suffering and death in the end. This is what uh, we are to learn the lesson. What the Master be, means to say. It's not only that uh, we are only to listen or to read something, and close the book that it is sufficient, this is sufficient. The people are there who read the scripture, daily read. And from the beginning of their life they go on reading traditionally and till the life, end of the life they go on reading. But you ask them what you have found from it? Nothing. Because what is there in it, that is to be known that if my mother says something, you don't only listen to it. You understand it. And when you understand it, then you feel like working upon it. Then it is effective. If your uh, father has sent you a letter, and in the letter it is written that there is a year of 10,000 millions, over there you may work it out, and uh, their letter is received by you, and you read it, and then close it. Next day again you read it, and close it. Daily you read it. And somebody asks you, what is letter written in the letter? I read it daily. Is that sufficient? I read it daily, is it sufficient? Or I read sometimes. What is it? You have read even a sentence, one sentence, you should not proceed further till you have understood that one sentence. And then when you have accomplished that one sentence, its meaning, what was told in it, you are not go further. In Indian mythology there was 
there is an example there. Uh, there were uh, some students which were being taught by a saintly person because in the olden days such like schools were not there. The uh, children were put uh, into uh, some uh, saintly person's uh, 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 instructions that they may go over there and live over there day and night and learn all the spiritual lifestyle. And the first lesson which was given to them was there that don't tell lies and don't be angry. This was the uh, first two sentences which were told to the children and there were about ten children, nine children in second day told and read out uh, this lesson rightly. Don't be angry, don't tell lies. And when the third, when the tenth student was asked, have you learned your lesson? He told, sorry, my master, I could not. In this way, about ten days passed, and that child was still stuck up on this first lesson that he could not learn it. And other students were going through the half of the book of the lessons. And that master was then little very much curious about him and was calling him, my dear, you are so dull, so null, you are nothing that all these children have gone through the half of the book and you are just stuck on the first lesson only. And then that student with four hands expressed, my dear, but I'm sorry. But what I have, I can say have, because it is told, don't tell lies. <laughs> Didn't you tell it? It is written, you have told this lesson, don't tell lie. Now if I tell lie that I have learnt it and I have not learnt it, then this lesson I have not learnt. And that I have now this, learnt this lesson that I don't tell lie anybody, to anybody. This I have uh, learnt it with great struggle. This lesson was not so easy lesson that it was to be accomplished. I have learnt it at last in the ten days and I don't tell lies. But I have not yet any control over my mental setup. When there is little sub something which is against my which is against my desires, at once my mind is becoming angry. Not to be angry that I could not accomplish half the lesson I have been able to uh, uh, remember and to understand, and I have learnt it. Other half still I have to work upon it. Then that. Teacher was really with open mouth, open eyes, wide open. Who? Oh, what is this? My dear, and then hugged him. My dear, this half lesson which is well learned, that is sufficient. Your whole of life, you did not learn any more, anything more. This half lesson is sufficient for you. If all the people of this world learn only this half lesson, the people, all the world will be changed into kingdom of uh, God and children of God. And that uh, libraries and libraries are full of very, very uh, 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 diverse knowledge, diverse teachings. But nobody is there who is having a reality. And what is given uh, in Bible, in other scriptures, uh, these are truths. These are here something basic lifestyles. And that, that we have sometimes read, sometimes we have not read even, and we do not believe, and we, we do not work upon it, upon it, and are just only some kind of tape records. And the tape record is having everything, if you put it on, uh, and then it will go on telling everything, everything, everything. But what it is really, it is only black tape. It will remain black. It will not change. 
So we should not be tape recorders, we should not be lifeless. Whatever we hear, whatever we listen, whatever we read, it should go into our heart and it should take place in our heart and should begin to work in our heart and that we may be benefited out of it. Then we will be able to achieve something of the life. Just the words are empty words. Our actions are really which have some meaning. So this uh, life which you have found, it is very, very important, very, very important. And one lesson or uh, what question I may put to you, but you are support to your own self, that can you live without God? Can you live without God? It means, can you live without yourself? Because God is your own self. This activity, this life, this every existence is from God. As you say that when there is now drought over here, there will be no water. And with no water, we will not be able to exist here in this world. If without water, we cannot exist. Everything is here. All this earth, all everything is there. But what is not there? But who made the water also? And who is a maintainer, maintainer and sustainer? That agency which is holding everything, that is lost, everything is lost. You see, all the plants are there working in their own places. And that, who is holding them? Is there any uh, power or anything that goes on automatically without any uh, actor? Nothing can happen without the actor. You say your heart is palpitating. Is it palpitating itself? Or you are arranging it? Is there any arrangement? There is an arrangement. There is somebody who is making it palpitate. If there is uh, something lying over here, I may say it should move here, this, this way and that is moving, it will not move. I will have to work upon it. If something, uh, heart which is made of flesh, it is inert material, materially, it is working, it is moving, it is working, it is working with some kind of living agency. And when that living agency withdraws itself, then the heart beat stops. But circulation also stops. Digestion system also stops. All the body working is stopping. It is going on only as long as the uh, 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 driving agency of God is there working in the body. If you are driving a car, every part of the car will begin to work. But if you withdraw yourself from the car, then car is only standstill. There is nothing. Can a car work without the driver? Without the driver, can any machinery work? Can your machinery also work without the God? That you are the agency of your lifestyle. And you are neglecting yourself. And if you neglect yourself, how you can live? And no doubt, when we are neglecting ourselves, for some time, we uh, are existing as that example of the branch of the tree was there that when the branch of the tree was connected it was flourishing, flourishing automatically enjoying and enjoying more and more better and better but when it is retired it falls down first thing happens it falls down from its height and then still it has leaves still it has some flowers Still it has some fruit, but everything goes, begins to go down, to wither away, to wither away, wither away. Wind which was also helping, that is now drying it out. Sun which was also nourishing it. All flowers and fruit and leaves, that also begins to kill it. And any animals, any birds, which were not able to reach it, not to injure it, are now there applicable, everybody will 
disturbed, destroyed, and after some days it will be no more. This is our system which goes on that we are going towards destruction, going down and down, down and down, down and down. With sufferings we are existing, sufferings are increasing more and more, inability, disability, our weakness is going on and increasing, and our power of working, power of even healing, power of memory, etc., is all withering away. And after some time we find that we are not able to get up from the bed or sit on the chair or stand up from the chair or that we will not be able to digest our food even. And that we will leave the body and our soul will leave the body and the body will be totally then dead. And that we as soul, what will happen to soul also? Because soul is also uh, to get food from our self God. And that it will be remaining under the clutches and control of the negative power. And it will suffer and suffer health like. Because it has weakened itself so much and gone down in its uh, uh, character or its, its ability so down that it cannot be accommodated anywhere else. As you see, if you have some very nicely washed uh, and practical cloth, your garment, you will wear it. You will enjoy it. You will be proud of it. But if your garment has become dirty and is all bad odors and some lice is also there, and it's really troublesome, you will throw it away somewhere. It is same cloth, same garment, which you are proud of. It was so wonderful, wonderful and acceptable to you. It was enjoyed, it's a great glory. And then the same garment is there, that if it had, it had gone through some other negative process, and that it is not washed, but it is made dirty, then it will go to the uh, hell-like system uh, uh, in some garbage. This also becomes the uh, fate of our soul, that when it has been detached from the nourishing and cleaning system and purifying system and making it whole, more and more holy system of the sound current and the light and the remains of God, then uh, it is going down, down and down and down, and then it will only be suitable to be uh, thrown into some garbage which we call health. It means we have arranged what we are uh, going through. Through some kind of agency which uh, we have uh, found or which uh, have, uh, we have been found by it and we have accepted it. But now you are to take your turn that the agency which is there to destroy you uh, and to really kill you, that you are there to be saved and there is where someone who is competent to help you and that you are to uh, not only accept his help but run after him. That he may accept you, he may uh, bless you and you are saved and that then you instead of going down are put on the way of lifting up, upward and upward and upward. You are day by day more strong, more pure, more holy, and more and more in your glory, beauty, knowledge, wisdom, and eternity. Because eternity is also your first aspect of life. We are not to indulge in this day-to-day change, more to more to change. The breath which is also coming goes out, comes and goes, comes and goes, comes and goes. It is also not stable in us. Every thought comes and goes. Blood also goes on changing. Flesh is also going on changing. Our bones are also going on changing. Everything is changing. Out of this all changing, automatic changing and out of control changing how we can depend upon anything. 
where there is a stability, eternity. From eternity till eternity the same. Nothing is to change, nothing to vibrate. Everything is stable over there. And that eternal, our existence and highest and wonderful is there. And that is why it is eternal. Because when you are, you are in your own home, there you settle. And there you are well settled. When you are in some friend's home, your relative's home, or some hotel, in some hotel, you are always in suspense. You know that I cannot stay here. It's not my home. I am not stable here. I have, will have to leave it. You are always in the mood of unstability, and that unstability you cannot enjoy. Only you can enjoy your some stable position. And it is good that where we are not befitting, which is not belonging to us, we are unstable over there. And it is good also that where we are having everything for us and we can enjoy everything, and there is nothing missing over there that belongs to us, it belongs to us and we belong to it. There is oneness in it, and there we are well settled, there we are well stable. So the stability is needed, and that highest, the best, which is there for us, is also available, and there we will be able to enjoy, there we will be able to live. This is the only way that we can uh, adjust ourselves. If we have got some feeling for ourselves, some sympathy for ourselves, and has some intelligence, which we, I cannot say we have, we have to find intelligence from some intelligent one. And we have to find something which who has something for us and have to be guided by someone who has got that light, which is light of knowledge and wisdom, and who has got eyes for himself and for us that he can guide us, and who has got power with him that he can release us from all those impressions which have been put upon us from the negative power under which we are going on on the way of destruction and he can pull us with his power and we are safe and then we adjust in him as his impressions will go on adjusting in us we will be adjusted in him and after some time we will become one with him and he is already one with God and indirectly we will be also adjusted in God in our own home where we were sometimes back and we will find ourselves again adjusted over there and there we can heave a sigh of relief there. Otherwise there is no place there where you can relax. You are always in suspense. Okay my dear, the day may come when you are again in your home, in your own self. I am waiting for that. I'm looking forward for that very, very eagerly. You are sleeping very nicely. <laughs> In the lap of the night of power. <laughs> In the lap of the carnival. <laughs> Who loves you very much, but <laughs> will deal with you in his own way. <laughs> okay, my dear, now take your seats for meditations.